Coming up, it's the high school quiz show semifinals with Lexington High School. <laughs> Taking on Newton North High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. You can file a claim. You can pay your bill. Safety's mobile app helps you manage life storms for your auto, home, and business. Ask an independent agent about safety insurance. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Today's matchup is the first of our semi-final rounds. We are down to the final four. The goal to become the next high school quiz show state champion and to take home this beautiful trophy. Before we meet the teams, it's time for you folks at home to grab the mobile phone, the tablet, or the laptop so you can all play along with us live. Just log in now at highschoolquizshow.org slash play live. Today's semifinal matchup has Lexington High School taking on Newton North High School. Let's get right to it and meet the teams. From Lexington, we have Colin, David, Arendt, and David. Let's hear it for Lexington High, crowd. <laughs> From Newton North, we have Ned, Alex, Ezra, and Dan. Let's hear it for Newton North. <laughs> The competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head -head round, a category round, and, of course, the lightning round. We start with a toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. As a reminder, there is no conferring, and you'll need to wait for the complete question to be read before you can buzz in. So if everybody's ready, good luck, guys. Semifinals. The abbreviation DB stands for what unit that measures the intensity of sound? Arendt? Decibels. Yes. In Clemency Moore's poem, The Night Before Christmas, which of Santa's reindeer is named after a female fox? Arendt. Vixen? Yes. I'm just a patsy. What alleged assassin said this when taken into custody November 22nd, 1963? David. Lee Harvey Oswald. Yes. In 2013, uh, the FBI shut down the Silk Road online black market and seized more than $28 billion worth of what digital currency? Yes, Ezra. Bitcoins. Yes. In 2012, what Finnish player replaced Tim Thomas as the starting goalie for the Boston Bruins? David. Tuka Rask. Yes. Uh, what easily frightened school teacher is the protagonist in one of America's oldest ghost stories, Washington Irving's The Legend of Sleepy Hollow? Dan. Ichabod Crane. Yes. In the international system of units, what is the standard unit of power? Dan. A uh, watt. The watt is correct. Uh, the 1931 painting, The Persistence of Memory, shows melting pocket watches against a barren landscape. It was painted by what Spanish surrealist? Yes, Dan? Salvador Dali. Yes. Uh, what planet has a huge storm the size of Earth called the Great Dark Spot? Alex. Neptune. Yes. Next question is going to be up on the video screen, so take a look, and uh, here it comes. Hi, I'm Jeff Kinney, and I'm the author of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. When I was a kid, my favorite book was Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing. Who was the author? Uh, Colin. Judy Bloom. That is correct. Uh, the Mosquito Coast is a coastal region of Honduras and what neighboring country to the south? Colin. Nicaragua. Yes. In October 2013, British merchant ships drove away Somali pirates by blasting music by what pop singer known for hits like Oops, I Did It Again? <laughs> David. Britney Spears. Yes. Which of the following states has the highest population? Is it A, Connecticut, B, Colorado, C, Idaho? Aren. Colorado. Yes. Math question. 
What 10-letter word that begins with the letter I refers to real numbers that cannot be expressed by a ratio of two integers? Yes, Aaron. Imaginary. No, Newton North. Yes, Dan. Irrational. Irrational is right. Uh, what gland in the upper chest that plays a key role in the immune system is large in infants but shrinks as humans grow older? Yes, Ned. The thyroid? No, Lexington, you want to try? Time is up. The thymus is the answer there. Uh, sales of the new crime novel, uh, The Cuckoo's Calling, surged by 150,000% after what British woman was unmasked as the true author? Yes, Colin? J.K. Rowling? Yes. In 1273, in Frankfurt, Germany, King Rudolf became the first king of what German dynasty? Yes, Colin? Hopsburgs? Correct. The Beatles helped popularize what tailored jacket named after the first prime minister of independent India? Yes, Alec. Nehru. Yes, the Nehru jacket. Now, your next question is from the Nova Secret Life of Scientists and Engineers web series, and it's coming up on your video screens right now. Hi, I'm Crystal Dilworth, and I study molecular neuroscience. Here's my question. What short, tree-like extensions of a neuron conduct impulses to a neighboring cell body or soma? Yes, Alex. Dendrite. Dendrite is right. Which of the following Englishmen was born first? A, William Shakespeare. B, Isaac Newton. C, King Henry VIII. Aren. Uh, King Henry VIII. Yes. In 1984, what British band won the first ever Grammy Award for Best Short Form Music Video for Hungry Like the Wolf? David. Duran Duran. Duran Duran. In 2013, what Canadian author of short story collections like Moons of Jupiter and uh, Dear Life became the 13th woman to win the Nobel Prize for Literature? Yes, Colin. Margaret Atwood. No, Newton North. Want to take a shot at that? Alice Munro, the answer there. Uh, what native of Dorchester, Massachusetts is best known for playing the scarecrow in the film the Wizard of Oz. Ezra. Burt Barr. No, Lexington. Uh, Colin. Ray Williams. No, Ray Bolger is the answer there. Uh, math question. In lowest terms, what's the probability of tossing a fair coin four times and getting heads each time? Aren. One out of 16. Yes. Uh, sushi refers to a food served with vinegar flavored rice. What seven-letter Japanese word refers to thin slices of raw fish? Dan. Sashimi. Yes. Which two major planets do not rotate counterclockwise on their own axes, but instead have retrograde rotation? Ned. Uranus and Neptune. No. Lexington, you want to try? David. Uranus and Venus. Yes. Uh, the Spanish-American War was one of the shortest and most one-sided wars in modern history. It took place in the summer of what year? Yes, Aaron? 1898. Yes. Hits like Stompin' at the Savoy and Blue Moon are associated with what clarinet virtuoso and band leader nicknamed the King of Swing? Yes, Colin. Benny Goodman. Yes, following France's opposition to the 2003 Iraq War, cafeterias in the U.S. House of Representatives changed all references to French fries to what? Yes, Aaron. Freedom fries. Yes. Uh, what Persian word, meaning market, refers to a row of small shops found especially in Middle Eastern countries? Yes, David. Bazaar. Yes. Uh, what six-letter Algonquin word refers to small beads made from polished shells used by some American Indians as currency and jewelry? Yes, David. Wampum? Yes, one of the largest and most significant libraries of the ancient world was founded in the 3rd century B.C. in what Egyptian city? Yes, Dan. Alexandria. Yes. Uh, what blind soothsayer of Thebes appears in the Sophocles play Oedipus Rex? Yes, Colin. Tiresias. Yes. Uh, the saying, an army marches on its stomach, is attributed to what French leader who revolutionized military organization and training? 
Yes, David. Napoleon? Yes, what African country is home to the Tautona gold mine, one of the deepest working mines in the world? Yes, Alex? South Africa. Yes, lying roughly between the Rockies and the Sierra Nevada. What's the coldest and largest desert within the United States? Yes, David. The Great Basin Desert? Yes. Uh, While well, a senior at Harvard, who wrote a thesis paper later published as the best-selling book, Why England Slept? Aren. JFK. Yes, the late romantic composer Gustav Mahler was born in Bohemia and died in what capital city of Austria? Aren. Vienna. Yes. Uh, oh! Okay, that's the end of round one. The score right now, Lexington High School, 240 points. Newton North, 110 points. Let's hear it for both teams, everybody. <laughs> now, the head-to-head -head round is next. For this 90-second round, each team, as you know, gets to choose one player that will come forward and go head-to-head. -head. Lexington, who's it going to be? Colin. Colin, Newton North, who's it going to be? Alex. So Alex and Colin get set to come forward and go head to head. Let's go. Okay, uh, the head to head round is next. I've got Colin to my right, Alex to my left. Shake hands, guys, and uh, this round is 90 seconds. You get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10, and you can buzz in as soon as you know the answer. If you guys are ready, the clock is set, and I'm ready to go, so here we go. The battles of Lexington and Concord were, fo were fought on April 19th of what year? Yes. 1775. Yes, in U.S. cooking measurements, how many teaspoons are in one tablespoon? Three. Yes, in Greek myth, Triton is the son of what god of the sea? Yes? Poseidon. Yes, atomic number 33 refers to what metallic element often used as a poison in mystery novels? Yes. Arsenic? Yes. Uh, what U.S. president made the decision to drop atomic bombs on Japan? Truman. Yes. In 2013, what country achieved a soft landing on the moon with a rover named Jade Rabbit? Yes. China. Yes. Uh, what 1871 novel is a sequel to Little Women by Louisa May? Yes. Little Men. That is it. Uh, the cities of Kazan and Samara are situated on what principal river of western Russia? Yes. The Volga? Yeah. The United Arab Emirates is a federation comprised of how many emirates? Yes. Twelve. No, seven. Uh, who was the only actor who appears in the 2013 film All is Lost? Yes. Robert Redford. Yes. Who wrote the classic gothic horror tale, The Fall of the House of Usher? Yes. Edgar Allan Poe. Yes. In 1925, what renowned lawyer led the defense of John Scopes? William Jennings Bryan. No, Clarence Darrow. Name the lower house of the British Parliament. House of Commons. Yes, atmospheric carbon dioxide is monitored at what U.S. observatory at the base of the world's largest volcano? Yes. Mauna Loa. Yes. Uh, between se Ooh. And that's the end of the head-to-head -head round. The score right now, Lexington High School, 310 points. Newton North High School, 140 points. Let's hear it for both teams and for Colin and for Alex. Get back to your teams and we'll resume the game. Thanks, guys. the contestants and for everybody playing at home it's the category round and we do have six categories and they are rock on the great gatsby happy accidents let's dance lost in translation and analogies each category has five questions with increasing point values and there is a lot at stake in this round and by the way contestants you can confer with your teammates you'll need to wait for the complete question to be read before you can buzz in. But once you do, you can no longer confer, and we will need your answer. Now, Newton North, you've got some ground to make up, so you'll get the first category. What's it going to be? Lost in translation. Lost in translation. Questions about foreign loan words. For 10 points, what Swahili word for travel refers to an expedition to see or hunt animals, especially in Africa? Aren. Safari. Yes, in Lexington, you get the board. Category? We'll stick with loss in translation. Or 15 points. What Dutch word that literally means earth pig refers to an African animal that looks very similar to the anteater of South America? Uh, Alex. 
uh, wildebeest. No, Lexington, Rem. Aardvark. Aardvark is right. You've still got control, Lexington category. We'll stick with loss in translation. 20 points. What two-word Latin term meaning other self refers to another aspect of one's personality? Aren. Alter ego. Yes, you've still got control. We'll stick with loss in translation. 25 points. What 10-letter German word refers to a strong desire to rove or travel about? Uh, David. Wanderlust. That is it. You've still got control, Lexington category. Let's finish it. Stick with it. Translation, 30 points. Western cultures generally recognize four flavors, sweet, sour, bitter, and salty. Asian cultures recognize what fifth flavor that means yummy or savory in Japanese? Aren. Umami. That is correct. Uh, you've still got the board. You'll need another category, though. We'll go with The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby. These are questions about The Great Gatsby. Uh, for 10 points, uh, there was music from my neighbor's house through the summer nights. In his blue gardens, men and girls came and went like moths. What narrator of The Great Gatsby says this? Alex. Nick Carraway. That is correct. And now Newton North, you're in control. Great Gatsby. 15 points. Jay Gatsby's extravagant lifestyle and wild parties are simply an attempt to impress what married woman with whom he's deeply in love? Uh, Ned. Daisy Buchanan. That is correct. You've still got the board. We'll stick with Great Gatsby. 20 points. During the war, Daisy had promised to wait for Gatsby, but she broke her promise and married what wealthy, powerful man? Ezra. Tom Buchanan. That is correct. You've got the board. Same one, please. Uh, 25 points. Gatsby lives in a huge mansion in what fictional Long Island town that's considered unfashionable because it's home to the self-made rich? Yes, Alex. West Egg. West Egg is right. You've still got the board. Same. 30 points. Nick Carraway, like F. Scott Fitzgerald himself, was born in what Midwestern state? David. Missouri. No, Newton North. Time is up. Minnesota. Newton North. You've still got the board category. Analogies. Analogies. Complete the following analogies for 10 points. Sheep is to horns as deer is to what? Uh, Ned. Antlers. That is correct. You've still got it. We'd Staying like to here keep for going. 15. Edward Jenner is to smallpox as Jonas Salk is to what? Yes, Dan. Polio? Yes. Uh, staying here or moving along? We're going to stay here for 20. Uh, the Dow Jones is to New York City as the Nikkei is to what? Dan? Chicago? No, Lexington. Colin? Tokyo. Yes, and Lexington, you get the board. Category? Keep it. Keep it? 25 points. The Himalayas are to Mount Everest as the Alps are to what? Ned. The Matterhorn. No, Lexington. Yes, David. Mont Blanc. Yes, and you've still got the board. Accidents. Happy accidents. Uh, questions about accidental discoveries and inventions. For 10 points, on a hiking trip in 1941, Swiss engineer George de Mistral uh, found burrs clinging to his dog's fur, and this inspired him to create what hook and loop fastener? David? Velcro? Correct. You've got control, Lexington. We'll stay with it. 15 points. While experimenting with refrigerants in 1938, DuPont chemist Roy Plunkett stumbled across a polymer now marketed as what non-stick coating? Yes, Alex. Teflon. Teflon is right. Newton North, you're in control. Same. Happy accidents for 20. Uh, during World War II, James Wright tried to make uh, synthetic rubber by adding boric acid to silicone oil. The result was a bouncy, stretchy mess later sold as what popular toy? Yes, Aren. Silly putty? Silly putty is right. Now, Lexington, you're in control. Let's dance. Let's dance. <laughs> is that a question? No. <laughs> uh, questions about dance for 10 points. Believed to have originated as a victory dance performed after battle, what lively folk dance is the national dance of Scotland? The Highland Fling. And uh, Lexington, you've got the board. Let's keep dancing. <laughs> All right, why not? Uh, for 15 points, derived from the French for back to back. Uh, what term refers to a basic movement in square dancing in which two dancers approach and circle each other? Yes, Alex. Dosey do. Dosey do is right. Newton North, you've got the board. Uh, happy accidents. Going back to happy accidents, and this time 25 points in 1928 in a London lab. Who happened to notice the bacteria-killing properties of a penicillin mold growing on a discarded, contaminated Petri dish? Yes, David. Fleming. Alexander Fleming is right. You've got the board. Rock on. Rock on. Questions about rocks and minerals for 10 points. Rocks are made of minerals, and minerals are made of what tiny solid substances that form regular, distinctive patterns? 
Yes, Ned. And crystals. Crystals is right. Now you get the board, Newton North. Um, if we could go with happy accidents. Happy accidents. 30 points on this one. X-rays were first documented in 1895 by what German scientist who discovered them by chance while experimenting with cathode ray tubes? Yes, Colin? Wilhelm Röntgen. That is correct, and you get the board back, Lexington. Let's go back to dancing. For 20 points, what American dancer nicknamed Black Venus moved to Paris in 1925 and soon became one of Europe's most popular and highest paid performers? Uh, Josephine Baker, but you've still got the board, Lexington. Go back to dancing. Uh, for 25, the U.S. Congress has designated National Tap Dance Day as May 25th in honor of the birthday of what great tap dancer best known for his films with Shirley Temple? Colin. Fred Astaire. No, Newton North, you want to try? Bill Bojangles. And uh, Lexington, you've still got the board. Rock on. Rock on. For 15 points. If a mineral breaks with rough edges, like a pencil snapped in two, uh, we call the break a fracture. But if it breaks by coming apart in flat sheets, we call the break what? Aaron? Cleavage? Yes, that is right. You've still got it. Rock on. 20 points. Minerals can be identified by physical properties such as color, transparency, hardness, and streak. What additional property is synonymous with shine? Aaron? A luminosity? No, Newton North, yes, Ned. Luster. Luster is correct. And now, Newton North, you've got the board. If we could go with analogies, please. Analogies for 30 points. Charles Lutwidge Dodson is to Lewis Carroll as Eric Arthur Blair is to whom? Colin. George Orwell. That is correct. And Lexington, you're back in control. Category? Rock on. Rock on. Rock on for 25. In 1812, a German scientist developed at what scale that ranks the hardness of minerals? Ned. Mose. Mose is correct. Now you get the board, Newton North. Let's go with rock on for 30. Rock on for 30. What eight letter word that begins with the letter O describes a dark volcanic glass that forms when lava cools so quickly that no crystals develop? Yes, Ned. Obsidian. That is correct. I've only got the one category, okay? So here we go. And for 30 points, what wife and muse of George Balanchine was considered America's first major prima ballerina and the first Native American to hold that title? Yes, Maria Tallchief. That is correct. Maria Tallchief. Oh, my. I was all set to move on. Anyway, that's the end of the category round. The score right now, Lexington High School, 540 points. Newton North, 290 points. Let's hear it, folks. the final 90 seconds of gameplay it is the lightning round you get 20 points for correct answers your incorrect answers will cost you 20 points you can buzz in as soon as you know the answer the clock is set and here we go with the lightning round good luck guys who was elected u.s president the same year that america celebrated its bicentennial colin gerald ford no jimmy carter what is the next prime number after 31 dan uh, 37. Yes. Uh, what day of the week is considered holy in Islam? Yes, Colin. Friday. Yes. Who is best known as the lead vocalist for the rock band Maroon 5? Colin. Adam Levine. Yes. Uh, glucose combines with fructose to produce what sugar commonly known? Sucrose. Uh, yes. LeBron James plays forward for what NBA? Yes, Aaron. The Miami Heat. Yes. Love loves to love love. What Irish author wrote this in his novel Ulysses? Yes, Colin. James Joyce. Yes. In March 1941, what country passed the Lend-Lease Act? David. USA. Yes. Uh, the streets in the classic American board game Monopoly are named after streets in what? Yes, Aaron. Atlantic City. Yes. Most natural gas produced in the U.S. is found trapped in formations of what sedimentary rock? Yes, Colin. Shale. Yes. Uh, what whale species sings the longest and most complicated songs of all whale species? Yes, Ned. The blue whale. No, humpback whales. Uh, what is the southernmost state capital in the U.S.? David? Honolulu. Yes, in taxonomy, mollusks like snails and slugs belong to what class that means stomach foot? Uh, David? Arthropods? No, gastropod. Who was the first person killed in a 1770 skirmish called the Boston? Yes. Christmas Addicts. Correct. Mr. Toad of Toad Hall appears in what 1908 children's classic? 
yes. Win in the Willows. Yes. Uh, what city on the Atlantic Ocean? Oh, that is the end of the game. The winner, Lexington <laughs> High School. For well, the final score, 700 points. Newton North, 310 points. Lexington now advances to the championship round, the finals, the Massachusetts State Championship. Let's hear it for both teams one more time. And that's it for now. We'll see you next week right here on High School Quiz Show. Play along with High School Quiz Show every week at highschoolquizshow.org slash play live. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Life is full of surprises. Some good, some not so good. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance's enhanced coverage for auto, home, and business so you don't get caught by surprise. Safety Insurance will help you manage life storms. Bank of America is proud to support High School Quiz Show and committed to education initiatives throughout Massachusetts, including citizen schools, Teach for America, and local boys and girls clubs. For more information, you can visit bankofamerica.com slash Boston. A production of 